There's one quote in German which says, Ich bin nicht behindert, ich werde behindert, which means like if you have a disability, you are not the obstacle, all the obstacles are around you. And this was always in my mind while I was doing the, uh, this post. And so let's start with the beginning. I was in a group of the mobility and I chose mobility in a wheelchair. Because if you're in a wheelchair, it, your daily life can be really exhausting. You're always depending on the access accessibility of the city. So if there are any obstacles you can't overcome, you always have to ask for help. And just imagine a life where you always have to ask for help, but no one's offering it because they don't know how. And you're probably wondering why I chose this topic because the main topic is outspoken view and I'm clearly not in a wheelchair. But three years ago, a boy who's really close to me got disabled through an accident and we both had to learn how to get in the city with the wheelchair and do some groceries and we had a lot of situations which were really dangerous and I couldn't handle the wheelchair anymore because the obstacles were too high and after that I couldn't unsee all the obstacles you see while going through the city. So this is a really hard project of mine and I started to search for all the problems people have to face while going somewhere in Augsburg. And I collected all the data from the surveys and from the statistics and divided them into the main problems. But one big question also was, to whom should this infographic be addressed? And I could make it for people in a wheelchair, but I don't have to tell them all the problems they have to face because they are facing them every day. So how about telling the problems to the people who walk by because you can't expect the people to see all the problems and obstacles without knowing about them. So I started to make the obstacle parkour to show the people where and how they can help. And at the beginning it was only a booklet, but then I thought about, I want the people to see the obstacles and be reminded that this could be difficult for people in a wheelchair. So I started to work more visual and I made, made this path, as you can see, and I started to visualize all the problems and reduced them and evaluated them and transferred it into things you see in a really concrete way. And then I came up with this obstacle parkour and you can see it starts with the different types of wheelchairs because they are different than handling and some of them don't need help and some of them need a lot of help and also a big problem are the green faces and you can see how fast the pedestrian is and how fast the, someone in a wheelchair is and always by this shaking hand icon you see a tip how you can help them properly. And if you know Augsburg, you know we have a lot of cobblestone and that's why it's also a problem for the people in Augsburg in a wheelchair to overcome them and you can help to stabilize and if you are in the crowd and you see someone passing by in a wheelchair, you can synchronize your tempo, you can make some space. And one big thing also is how can you help properly and how do you ask? And you have to ask if you can help and if the answer is no, you have to accept it. And if it's yes, you should listen to the instructions because they know best how you can help because they have to face it every day. And of course, stairs problem, you can look for an escalator or just help them or carry them downwards or upwards. And if you have a car, you Hopefully we'll see this and remember to park in the spot so the wheelchair users don't have to go on the street to cross you because there's not enough space as you can see here. And 
Also the curve drop is too high. In Augsburg they try to make it three centimeters, but sometimes it's also six, which is really hard to overcome, but it should be zero. But the city of Augsburg hasn't done it yet, but it are trying to, as they say. And one last one of the last points is the public transport. You can also help to operate the ticket machine for them because it's more so time too high or if they are in the public transport, it's hard to handle because it's moving. But also there are really good things to, to say about Oxford because 96% of the trams are already barrier free and 100% of the buses are lower floored, which is really good at comparing to other cities. And if you are on your bicycle, you could use the cycle path, of course, to make some space. And here's a little tiny chart, how to handle gradients. And all these things combined in this visual way should be something to encourage the pedestrians to help. And what was really important for me was also, here you can see it really visual, but you have to read the text. But if you read it, Hopefully the people are more self-confident with helping because a lot of people, maybe they want to help, but they don't know how. And with that, they can keep that in mind and be more confident next time. So it would be nice to hang it somewhere in a waiting area because there you have a little bit of time to also read the tips. I mean, it's wor working with the visual things already, but not just to make them aware of the problems, but not telling them how to help. And yeah, it's a little insight of the daily life of the people. And so hopefully it will encourage the people to help. But at the end, it would be nice if they could be independently and just help themselves so the circumstances are right for them just to go anywhere they want to. All right, thank you for the nice presentation. <laughs> and uh, what I wonder is uh, why you chose that uh, very special way to illustrate your poster. And um, I wonder what is uh, the function of that style that you chose. Yeah, um, at first it was really important to me to make it concrete but abstract because this is the daily life and you should not make that much of a transfer. If you see stairs, you think of stairs actually. And this just shows this is the street and you can connect it to the real streets in real life. So this was really important for me to make it really concrete. And of course it should look friendly because I don't want to judge anyone. I want the people to be interested. So it should be fun to look at and not telling the people you don't help them it's not good for the if you're not helping you're not a good person it just should be read it and maybe you can help if you want to and that's why it's like friendly colors and yeah just fun to look at not yeah making some feel to the people thank you